Okay, so now in this video, we will add help part to our zombies as well. So for adding the help part to our zombies, what we need to do is to simply duplicate this. Okay, and let's make this zombie UI. And if you check it in the scene view, click on the zombie UI, let's go in there. Okay, this is the player, this is the zombie UI. Right here, as I told you, we will place the hell bar on top of the zombie head. So for that, we need to change the zombie UI canvas render mode to world space. And after doing that, now let's select the zombie Y. Okay, let's move it there. As you can see, there is the zombie Y. We need to scale this down. Okay, let's focus up on the Hell bar right here it is let's make the first of all the size of this to 0 0.002 point zero zero two okay now let's focus up okay where is it right here okay you can see it in the air now this is the zombie hell bar now and Let's now drag and drop this on top of the zombie head. Okay, our zombie is standing somewhere there. Okay, so I have moved the hell bar. Here is the zombie, I think he is in here. Okay. So now, whoops, moving objects in Unity is such a headache. Let me move this on top of the zombie head. Okay. You can notice the L bar is right there. Okay. So now, we have the L bar right here. Let's put it on top of the zombie head like that okay here is the zombie head bar now let's check its slider okay as you can see now it works but we need to change the head bar for the zombie okay because we don't want the same head bar for the player and the zombie let's change the fill to something else something maybe a little bit red Or we can actually add some yellow type of thing for example this one so let's select the fill let's add this fill okay and let's select the paint let's add that green now as you can see it has been changed so this will be the zombie health bar and let's change the color of the help bar icon but as you can see it is not changing so actually you can delete the icon if you want okay or you can add some other icon if you want okay now it works fine as you can see Now let's test this out and see how does it looks. It will not work when you try to hit the zombie and it is staying there because we didn't add this inside the zombie. So that's why it is staying up there, okay? But it looks good like this in the game view as well. Now in order to move this with the zombie, this help bar, okay, 
you can just simply drag and drop this inside the zombie one and now you will notice that when you play the game and run towards the zombie now as you can see the health bar moves with the zombie okay that is good now let's add a code so that whenever we hit this zombie then we want to decrease this zombie health bar okay only this zombie health bar not the other zombies so for that what we will do we will open up this script which is zombie one and right here we will do the same thing as we did for the player so actually if we check the player as you can see we added the reference so in the zombie health and damage we will also add a reference to the health bar of the zombie and after that what we did we simply give the health bar the uh, maximum value so for adding the maximum value let me copy that and right here when it awakes okay i told you that our health bar will be a universal health bar if you can add this to whatever you want but to whatever object you put the health bar make sure that you on that object for example the zombie one you add a reference to the health bar and then right here to this function assign the maximum value so for the zombie the maximum value is that one so we can actually copy and paste that now we have given the maximum value now we need to change the value whenever we hit the zombie so for that we will copy this and on the zombie one let's go down right here when we decrease the zombie help instead of this we will now call the what it is okay it is also present help so we can call the present health right here now just save the script get back to unity and now whatever zombie contain the zombie one script for example this one now this also need a health bar okay so for that we will simply add this health bar to that enemy as well but first let's just test this out for this enemy only so here is the health bar let's click on the zombie one let's drag and drop the health bar there okay and on the health bar right here we need to add the slider to make sure that we have added the zombie UI health bar okay now let me save this and actually let's deactivate this enemy for now because we don't want any errors in our console let's play the game now first of all let me take a rifle from here let's get closer to the zombie now as you can see there is the zombie help bar now if you try to hit the zombie you will notice that the zombie help bar decrease as you can see the zombie help bar decrease and when we fully kill him the help bar becomes empty and now the zombie and the help bar is removed but the only thing that is missing from this health bar let me show you let's play the game again and you will notice that the health bar stay in one place for example if we are seeing the health bar from here we want this health bar to rotate towards our camera okay as you can see the health bar is facing forward where the enemy is facing okay and we don't want that we want this health bar to rotate around the main camera okay so now in the next video we will type a script for this so that the health bar rotate around the player main camera and also we will add health bar to the other zombies as well with this done catch you guys in the next one